Hey there! Recently, we released ArcGIL 1.8, and to show off what's new, we designed a home that highlights new features and improvements shipped with 1.8. We did this over a couple of different shorts, and now we've stitched them all together to show you everything from start to finish and to help you understand how you can get ArcGIL integrated in your workflow. So let's show you! Here we're using Archeo to start our new site model for us to work off of. Let's imagine we just bought this great piece of land and we're going to build a new house on it. First we need to build our site, so let's use Archeo's map feature and voila, we have context. Second, let's demo the existing dwelling because we have dreams of designing our own home. Without two point creation, you would have to select the bounds like so in this diagonal movement. But as you can see, this doesn't align with the site's orientation, so it starts to clip a few things and delete where we don't want to. With two point creation, you're able to set your first position, align the second one to the appropriate rotation and length, and extrude up. We're going for that fresh contemporary design that will have a bit of a setback from the street and maybe bring in a little bit more greenery. And for this, we want to use two point creation once again. And instead of erasing, we're going to be creating our footprint. Okay, first click establishes origin point, second click sets our length and rotation. And in here, you can actually see another feature built into Archeo 1.8, which is our angular snapping. You'll see a nice visual cue and feel a nice haptic feedback given to your controller, which helps you ensure and align your designs perfectly. So I'm gonna define the entrance here with a door and a window. And as I'm putting these objects in place, you'll see a dash guideline, which is a new feature in 1.8 called our dynamic guidelines. These guidelines make for a much smoother modeling process and keep you aligned to the objects within your view. All right, perfect. Now let's add the tree to the front. So we go into create, vegetation, and pick our tree and place it. But it's clearly too small, so we want to scale it up. As I'm changing the scale, you'll see the increments that I'm snapping to, which is another feature shipped with 1.8, which helps you stay uniform and precise as you're scaling. We'll paint our house green to match the tree in the front, our roof a dark gray to blend with our future solar panels, and in big moments of glass like this. With Archeo 1.8, we've upgraded our materials to have a whole new power with reflections. All right, now back to the project. I've been thinking about having more social experience in the back by having a pool or gathering space, so I've had this model in Revit that I'm gonna import directly into Archeo and see how it fits. Archeo 1.8 has improved the capabilities of handling Revit models by upping our level of detail when exporting. Now, when you share your model from Revit into Archeo, you'll see a significant improvement in visual quality. And with the export complete, we have the model in our hands and we can place this easily within our scene to get a reference of size and scale of how we want our pool house to feel. Okay, so let's start by improving our site model. We want to swap this out for a more detailed point cloud of our site. To create this, I'm going to use Blender with the plugin called Blossom. This just helps us create a site model very quickly using Google Maps 3D tiles. All we need to do is pass in the coordinates of our model and out pops a nice fresh mesh of our site. With 1.8, we've improved our support for textures and point cloud files, making it possible to load any of these large files on mobile devices. To get this model from desktop to headset, we need to use a cloud group to send all of our assets around. We'll export our new site model as a GLB, upload the file to our cloud group, copy the group ID, and done. Once we find our point cloud, we can manually place it in our model to match. And just look at that, it feels so much better already. Let's switch over to the LiDAR scan. So for this one, I ventured out into our surrounding areas to figure out what type of materials are used on site. I found some stone, different siding, some wood, and a few different doors that I like the form of. And for this process, I used Polycam to capture all of this on my iPhone. With these scans complete, I'll upload this right to our Archeo cloud group. With Archeo 1.8, I can use this cloud group in a collaborative way by sharing the URL with anyone that I want to give access to to upload or download these files directly. Now, you can use these models as reference for material, forms, design, any sort of precedent that helps inform your design decisions. For me, I'm gonna use these as precedents and material palettes. 
With 1.8, we brought in additional gestures to bring more functionality into your hand controls. All of the ways that you can model with controllers or mouse and keyboard is accessible through our hand controls. So let's make some modifications to show you how we're working with our bare hands. Here's a great example for hand gestures. Here you can see I'm placing a window into the wall. I'm not really sure it fits well, and I just want to quickly undo. So here you go, and done. I think the designs had a good point and I want to share it now. So I'm going to set up a meeting and I'm going to invite a few users. And these are a couple different people on my team. They have a range of different skill levels with immersive tech. And one of the things that we're bringing with 1.8 is improved contextual tool tips for controllers. This just gives you a bit more information and helps you connect with new people that are jumping into Arceo. These tool tips have already provided a lot of help when communicating with new users. And if you don't want to see them, it's really easy to hide with this little toggle right here underneath. All right, that's everything new with 1.8. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow along to stay tuned for new updates coming from Archeo. And you can follow us on our socials at Archeo HQ or better yet, join our community at community.archeo.is and see you next time.